Hi, Jared Hoyman with VisibleTour.com and welcome to 360 Thursday. Okay, again, we're not in the 360, but I'm thinking we change it and 360 just means something more broad, uh, maybe a wraparound, you know what I mean. Maybe it's just another Thursday. That's what we can go with. So to the title of this, it probably intrigued you. How do you get 25 stops of dynamic range with any camera? Well, this is how. Pretty cool, huh? I mean, you can see out the windows, I hope. So I'm going to go over this quick, easy tutorial on how to do an interview style. Now, Granted, you do need uh, a tripod and it cannot be a motion video. You know what I mean? You can't be in motion. No, you can be in motion. Your tripod can't be in motion. So it's got to be a static shot video because what we're going to do is we are going to underexpose so we can see the windows. You won't see me. And then we're going to go right into post-production here in Adobe Premiere Pro and we're going to do an overlay and show you exactly how to expose those windows and make this dynamic range look amazing. And this would be something where you would be doing it in this format. So let's get started. All right, so we are in Premiere Pro CC 2018 and you get to see my beautiful, evil, scheming face. No, this just happens to be where I paused it. Uh, so project, I brought in the underexposed video and I brought in the uh, normal expose of what you see. And I have deleted, now you could just go and do each section individually and it will just take forever. Um, so I just wanted to make this quick just so you know how to do it. Uh, so what I did was I put the main one, see if we hide it. You got the underexposed right there. I've already color corrected for outside. And there it is overlaid. And so if you were to do this, I deleted these out. I just cropped them out. And I did it quick. It kind of looks ugly. See, there's some gap right there. And if you wanted to make it perfect, I would have zoomed in and done each square individually. So the wood paneling in here would have been exposed correctly but I didn't because I'm in a hurry and I just want to show you how to do this. Okay, got it, good. All right, let's move on. Okay, so I left this last one for us to look at. So let's go to about 150%. And what you have here is, you'll go to effects and you'll just type in crop and we'll pull a crop over and go to your effects, go all the way down to the crop, which is this one right here. And you can do kind of a freestyle or you can just grab and look at saving the project, which always delays it for a second. Fun stuff. Okay, so back to where I was saying, you can click on the free draw which works well, or I'm just gonna do this really quick, which is the uh, polygon mask. And instead of doing each little rectangle by itself, let's just hit all of this. You know, grabbing the corners. And bringing it right over there and there's a little gap still. It's not gonna look perfect. Um, you can hit any of these to just kind of delete it. So I'll just swipe from the top to the bottom. Boom. And let's go back to, all right. So if it's kind of plain, I have it at half resolution. There I am in the back right there. And so you can see out the windows just fine. You could spend a lot more time on this and it'll look a lot better. And that's what I would recommend. But for a quick tutorial, 
This will give you an idea of how to expose for windows in video and essentially get 25 stops of dynamic range or more. So there you go. Enjoy looking at me some more. So there you have it. It is a video within a video exposing the outside, which you still have motion and it works out. So let me know your thoughts below. If you have a better way of doing it, I would love to hear it. And I'm not being condescending. I mean, I would love to hear it. That'd be awesome. So do share. Till next time, please subscribe and 360 Thursday is out. See ya.